My name is Sarah Hassan. I will be your host today and welcome to the launch of the Netflix and Wildlife Works Kasigao Red Plus project here at the Magical Kenya Travel Expo. Today is the third and final day of the Magical Kenya Travel Expo that is all about discovering our beautiful country by bringing together tourism leaders, exhibitors, buyers, and what better way to wrap up this expo than with the launch of a documentary that is all about conserving our forests so that our children and our children's children and the next generation can be able to enjoy the beauty that we enjoy in this magical country. Am I right? Yes. All right, so with that said, I would like to acknowledge the presence of teams in attendance, some of whom have flown from different parts of the world to be here at this launch. Um, so there's teams from Magical Kenya. Kenya. Kenya Tourism Board. Kenya Wildlife Service. Netflix. Everland. And Wildlife Works. So I'll begin by asking a question. By a show of hands, how many of you know where the Kasigao Corridor is? Oh wow, that is uh, not a very big number. <laughs> All right, so the Kasigao Corridor is nestled right between the Savo East and West National Parks. It's home to very many spe different species of animals including 2,000 elephants. So this project is called the Kasigao Red Plus project. By a show of hands, how many people know what the Red Plus stands for? One. <laughs> I can count. Okay, okay, that's, that's like less than a quarter. Oh, what, what, we are here to learn, yes? All right, so the Red Plus stands for reducing emissions from deforestation and degradation. It's a United Nations-backed framework that aims to curb climate change by stopping destruction of forests. Destruction of forests is the second biggest cause of climate change. And we all know, all organisms depend, whether directly or indirectly, on trees and forests for life. Trees and forests provide food, shelter, medicine, cleans our air by absorbing carbon and releasing oxygen. And as Magical Kenya team says, in Kenya there's always a reason to safari and we want to keep it that way, correct? So when I was getting the briefing for the documentary, um, the CEO of Everland said something that was fascinating to me. So he said, and I, I believe we've all heard this saying, or even said it at some point in time, and said, money does not grow on trees. We've all had that or said that, correct? Yes. Well, in this case, you know, it, it kind of does. Not literally, I'm not saying go into a bus, go to Salvo, and you'll harvest some thousands. No, 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 not literally. I don't want to spill any bits. I don't want to, to give any spoilers. So without further ado, I would like to invite up on stage um, the Director of Public Policy for Sub-Saharan Africa, Netflix, Ms. Shola Sani. Kenya Tourism. Members of the board here represented. The DG KCB in absentia, well, if you represented, I'm sure, but uh, as someone in the audience. Um, Kenya Wildlife Service. The Everland team, how great. Wildlife Works, colleagues at Netflix, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols duly observed, as they say. Um, I'm smiling so hard because I remember when first I had the conversation in 2021, the Netflix Get delegation came to visit Kenya and we met with the um, CS at the time, CS Malala, and we talked a lot about what we do as Netflix. Our goal is to entertain the world, pretty ambitious. 
We're a digital entertainment service that provides um, all sorts of great local and international content, movies, series, uh, documentaries, reality, um, all sorts of genres. We believe that on our service we have something for every palace. We have something to address every taste that there might be. And our Entertain the World goal, I think we've made a pretty great start on it because we're in 190 different countries at the moment. We have over 220 million subscribers, including hopefully some of you in this room who are watching content on the Netflix service. So we realize that the reach, the reach is really great. And as we continue to invest in this goal, this vision of entertaining the world, part of that is to see, to, to, to ensure that the people we entertain can see their lives reflected on screen, can relate with what they're watching. Even if you're in Kenya and you're watching content from Nigeria, I'm, I'm a Nigerian by the way, you can find a commonality in the story. But even as we grow our business, we realize that for this business to grow, for more people to come on the service, join the 220 million and enjoy the service, we actually have to have actual people in a world that's habitable. And of course we want to see, uh, uh, we try to, to have our service and our content reflect the stories that are authentic and true to the people we entertain. We also have to be reflective of the issues that are important to the people we entertain and the people we partner with, the creators. And what's more important at the moment than the existential threats um, of, of climate change. So what we try to do as Netflix is to use the world spanning impact or the world spanning reach of the service that we operate to sh sh shine a light on some of these important issues. And this is part of why we're here today because there's a, a very important piece of work that's going on. We will have a, a, an opportunity to, to or you will have an opportunity to hear directly from the people doing the actual work during the course of today. But for us, it's important that we use our stage, so to speak, to shine a light on the work that means very much to the community locally. It puts Kenya in the forefront of its own conservation agenda, its own protection. And it, it gives us reason to think, how do we contribute? to preserving our wild spaces, preserving our environment for future generations. As Netflix, we are in the business of entertaining you, digital entertainment. We're not conservationists, we're not in the environmental stream, so to speak. But what we do is screen great content for people to watch. So this is our little contribution to supporting something that means very much to the government of Kenya, the people of Kenya, and the future generations of Kenya. How do we preserve the environment in Kenya um, in ways that are sustainable and meaningful? And of course, for the teams that are hands-on, doing this actual work, and not just doing the work, but capturing the details of the work so that people like us can um, see it. We were not there, but we can marvel at the impacts of what's being achieved in the Castile Corridor and of course many other places around um, Kenya and the world. Um, Without further ado, I will hand it back to Sarah Hassan, but to say a, a great thank you to the Everland team, to Wildlife Works, to the Kenya Tourism Board, um, Tourism Ministry, for allowing us at Net, as Netflix to be a part of this story and to use this platform to hopefully um, educate a little bit and hopefully get more advocates for this very, arguably the most important uh, issue that confronts us uh, at the moment as humanity. Thank you.